Hello and welcome to the Opulential Review Channel, where we bring opulence and influential together to look at the big brands, the big products, and figure out, are they worth your hard-earned cash? Now, I'm gonna dive into the Hermes Paris tie today. And starting off with the box, as always, we've got the iconic orange, Hermes Paris printed on the top in brown with a brown kind of edging around the edge of the cardboard box, as you can see. Uh, inside the box, not much to be alarmed about. The Hermes kind of tag, bit of Russell paper. That's pretty much your lot when it comes to the packaging. One thing of note is that these boxes are handy to keep the tie in when not wearing. Um, if you've been watching the previous videos, you'll know that we are fans of anything that's gonna keep the dust away here at Opulential. So yes, keep the box, store it for safekeeping. Uh, and then that way you know it's gonna be pristine and ready for you when you go to put it on. I'm gonna dive into the tie. I'm gonna go right up close so you can see this particular one, 100% silk. Of course, nothing less expected from Hermes. Made in Paris. Um, and up here, you've got the puzzle motif. So this is the H that interlinks. This is in a soft pink color, which would really go well with an offset power blue kind of suit. So if you're looking to turn up to an event, a wedding, a party, and really stand out, this kind of Hermes tie is top class when it comes to the tie game. Now, let me flip over the back of this tie because a couple of pieces that are worth bearing in mind here. Number one, a lot of different ties would have kind of branding on this, this square here. It doesn't have that. It's simple. It's just the pink kind of material that flows up. However, you do get the Hermes Paris made in France confirmation, dry clean only, as you'd expect. Um, and then flipping over to the other side of the tie, there is the Hermes Paris logo, which you can see on there as well. Not much more to show you on the tie itself. However, we do like to have a look at some comparisons. So what I have done is prepared some of our counterparts kind of tie options. This is a, a Gucci tie. Uh, you will see here the difference, and this is what I mean by the branding piece. The Gucci's, when they come through, do have branding within the square behind. Again, Gucci, made in Italy. Similar kind of logo pieces that are, that are on the back of the Gucci, on the back of the Hermes. I've actually got another example Gucci here for you. Um, same scenario, you're gonna get the Gucci logo, you're gonna get the Gucci tag, and again, they do do branding within the actual square on the back of the tie. So something that Hermes don't do, perhaps it's something um, that is a bit of a, a bit of a missing in comparison. However, the Hermes for me is top tier. If I was gonna choose between these three, a lot of it is personal choice. It does come down to the outfit that you're gonna wear, but if I had one that would match all three, I would be going with the Hermes. This one for me is the top tier. It's the opulential favorite, and therefore the rating, it's a fairly high one. It's a big 9.0, 90 out of 100. So this is gonna retail up about 140 pounds. This was purchased direct via the Hermes website. Um, these particular Gucci ones, similar price range, 140 pounds. If you think about what other ties that are out there in the market, your Ferragamos, their similar range, 140 pound. Versace's, similar, 140, 150. Tom Ford's, perhaps teetering up at the 150 to 170 range. And even the new season Hermes are on there at 170 as well. So it gives you a good view as to where these kind of ties are, are sitting within the market. And Hermes very much priced at top tier, but you're getting 100% silk. You're getting a big brand, big name, fancy box to keep it in. And for us, opulential review, as I say, big 90 out of 100. So congrats to Hermes for pipping the competition and taking first place.